Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it also helps us reach others in need of assistance with these topics. So what we're going over today is we're going to be looking at geometry and we are going to be finding some missing angles or missing values inside of angles for triangles. And this will be our third part in this series. So we have two triangles to work with. And both of these, we're going to have to find some hidden variables that will form angles inside each of these triangles. So our first one, we have a variable of x as an angle here. This angle up here is denoted as 3 times x, then minus off 31 degrees. And this one down here is 2 times x plus 7. So we need to determine x for each for this triangle here. Well, how do we do that? Well, we do know that a triangle has a total of 180 degrees inside of it. Well, what we can do is we can add all these up and that would total up to 180 degrees. And then we can use some algebra to solve for X. So let's go ahead and do that. So we would have 180 degrees plus X or is equal to X plus that top angle of three X minus 31 plus that bottom right angle of two X plus seven. Well, what we can do is that we can add all our x variables together. So we would have 180 is equal to x plus 3x, which is 4x plus another 2x gives us 6x. And then we would have minus 31 plus 27 gives us a minus 24. Well, we just take 24 to the opposite side and we would end up with 204 since it would be 180 plus 24 each side of the area, the 24 here is equal to 6x. Well, then x would just be equal to the 204 divided by 6. And this gives us 34 for our x, which is what we would have right here would be 34 degrees. Now, if we wanted to determine what the other two angles were, we would just plug in 34 degrees for that x right there, multiply by 3, then take 31 away from that. And then same one down here, we would multiply 34 degrees by two and then add seven to it and then tally all those together. And that should equal 180 degrees. And that is also a good way to double check your answer is just take what you have for X here and plugging it back in for the variable in your very first equation. Alrighty, so that's how we do our first one. Our second one is going to be a little bit more difficult because instead of just having one unknown variable, we are going to have two. We have x over here with 2x minus 25 for this angle. We have 2 times x for this angle up here. And now we're incorporating a y variable of 3y plus 5 for this last angle inside the triangle. And then we are also told that this angle outside of the triangle is 5y plus 15. So if we were to just go ahead and do our... Um, equation like we did with the first triangle where we take 180 and equals to all of these angles added together, well, you're going to see that you're not going to be able to do this. So it'd be our first angle of 2x minus 25 plus our second angle of 2x here at the top, and then plus our last angle down here on the inside at the bottom, which would be ooh, not 2, it would be 3y plus 5. Well, we end up with two unknown variables inside of our equation, we have an X and a Y. And when you have two unknown variables, well, you need two equations to solve for that, or you should solve for just one of the unknowns by itself before plugging it in here. So when you have two variables that are unknown per one equation, can't solve for either one. So what do we do? Well, we're gonna utilize this portion right here because this is a straight line that is connecting these two angles. Well, what's the total amount of degrees in a straight line? Well, that's also 180 degrees. So you would have 180 degrees for the inside of a triangle. And for a straight line, it totals up to be 180 degrees as well. So these two angles right here involving Y are going to add together to be 180. So essentially what we have here is we're going to have 3Y plus 5 for that first one. And then plus our second one, which is 5Y plus 15. And all of that has to be equal to 180 degrees. And this one is for a straight line. The previous one was for the triangle. This one is for a straight line. So we have one unknown variable here. It's occurring in two places, but it's a single unknown variable of y. So we can combine like terms and solve for y. 
So let's go ahead and do that. So we have 3y plus 5y. So that ends up being 8y. And then 5 plus 15 gives me 20 is total to 180. All right, well, let's take 20 away from each side here. So we end up with 8y is equal to 160. And then divide both sides by 8. And we end up with 160 divided by 8 gives me 20 for my y. Well, now with y, what I can do is I can just take that boom, 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 and plug it back into my original equation for the second triangle. And then once y is known at 20 here, x is my only unknown variable inside that equation. And with one equation, one unknown variable, I can solve for x now. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to rewrite it down here a little bit, give a little bit more room here. So we are going to have our 2 times x minus off our 25 plus r2 times x, and then plus 3 times y. Well, y is now 20 that we just determined. And don't forget about this little plus 5 here for that angle is equal to the total amount inside the triangle, which is 180 degrees. So we can combine like terms of x here. So we will end up with 4 times x from the 2 plus the 2. And then we are going to have minus 25. This becomes 60 for 3 times 20. So we're going to have minus 25 plus 60 plus 5 gives me a total of plus 40 is equal to 180. So I subtract 40 from each side. We end up with 4x is equal to 140. Well, then x is just going to be equal to 140 divided by 4, and that gives me 35. So if I wanted to determine what these angles are in here, I would just take the 35 and plug it in for x. For instance, this top one would be 2 times x, which would give me a total angle of 70 degrees. And I would repeat that process down here. And this would be, of course, then the 50 degrees then. Or not 50 degrees, 45 degrees, sorry. And then you can do the same process for y if you want to, and that would be 65 degrees. And all of those should add up to be 180 degrees, which they do. So that's always a good way to double check to make sure that you've done the calculations correctly. So that's how you would solve this problem and solve both of these triangles looking for our unknown variable x, or if you were asked what are the angles inside of the triangle. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you want to see more problems solved this Friday, please check out the other videos on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below, and subscribe to the channel because all of that does help us out. Thank you for watching, and I hope you had a fantastic day.